Welcome back to the Good Morning Niger Show. We'll be joined by our first guest, which is a very important conversation to be had because lots of parents are at home with their children and are now frustrated in trying to teach them at home, understanding, trying to figure out why their children are not picking up as much as they should or as fast as they expect them to. Now, dyslexia is a very important conversation that's not often had in homes, in Nigerian homes, but it's starting to become a conversation. I'm certain that there are many people who will be hearing the word dyslexia for the first time today. Well, we'll be joined by the Chairman, Board of Trustees, Dyslexia Foundation of Nigeria, Mr. Ben Aripo, who will be talking to us about how to identify and care for a child living with dyslexia. Thank you very much for joining us, sir. Thank you so much, um, Olim. Nice uh, to be here. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. So I think, first of all, I had mentioned yeah. that I'm certain that there are certain many people who will be hearing the word dyslexia for the first time. How well would you say Nigerians are informed about dyslexia? Oh, no, I think that uh, the, the awareness about dyslexia is still very low. Mm. I would almost say that uh, maybe less than 5% of uh, Nigerians have heard about the word dyslexia. Mm -hmm. which is why we are still gradually, uh, consistently uh, creating awareness. So it's a good thing that today, in you know, this program, we would be talking about dyslexia so that someone will hear. Mm. Oh, uh, all right, sir, for uh, the lame man where they watch us, maybe the people with per per just day house, okay, what would you say in lame man terms is dyslexia? So that, let's start from there, in lame man terms. Okay. Okay, let me start from what it is not. Okay. Because uh, before you know what it is, you have to know what it is what not. What is not, okay. First, no, no, no be sickness. Dyslexia, no be sickness. Mm -hmm. Dyslexia, no be disease too. But na brain condition. Okay. Now the way we Papa God take wire the person brain. And as we say, you know, we say God, no, they make mistake. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So God wire the person brain for a particular purpose. But now, because many of us don't understand how to use it, that particular gift that God gives them, mm -hmm. and make with the thing saying a uh, problem. Mm. Secondly, now because of, say, the way where we expect, say, everybody go think, everybody go behave, everybody go, go waka, mm -hmm. now make us a kukuma, they always beat them, say, they no sabi book, they no do this. Mm. When a person get dyslexia, sometimes if first start from when he's young, go, Okay. You can see it from when the, when the child is very, very young. How do you know that? Mm. You know, go, you know, go crawl in time. Okay. You know, go work, you know, go work out for time. When he makes the, the crawl for nine months or less, he go crawl for one year. When not as the work out for one year, he go try to move in first step, maybe two years, he never work out. Mm. Then when he come to speech, in speech, they come the same time where he meets, where the children, where they are born the same time, they talk. He won't feel rich like three years, four years, sometimes even five years before he go begin to talk. Wow. Now those things, they wake up, then the people see and they say, ah, wait, something bad don't happen, no. No. If you see such elite signs, you better make you begin go seek help. Say, what you go feed do? And they meet people where come for us, our center, say, my picking never talk for four years or five years. And as they say, you don't see speech therapists. They say no. What do you do since? You say with well, a pray. Ah. Yeah, you go to pray, oh, but you better make you go speech therapist. <sighs> Find a person who will help and to talk. So apart from uh, talking, when they enter school, when they teach them to say A B C D, if they had a well well, now they they never they nearly kill herself. Teacher go beat them. Parents for home go beat them. They go give a name self. I think Yoruba they call him Olodo. <laughs> For my language, then they call him Wenedibe. Everybody we see person we know sabi book. Then they treat, then they treat and I say, na bad thing. The fact they know sabi book, nobody say no sabi any other thing. Oh. Yeah. There are many people for world here where we know where sabi, we get this, we get this condition. That my talk say no be sickness, no be disease. I don't want to call and say na sickness. We get that, we get this condition where they make them. They become very successful business people, successful artists, singers, actors, actresses, writers. Then they plenty. So dyslexia, no be disease, no be no be sickness. Now two things they cause dyslexia. Okay. One, 
if your papa or your mama or your papa papa or your mama mama then get them you go get them secondly so me say if they run for family the second thing be say if you get traumatic brain injury if your brain can't get injury either the time where you did for your mama belle or the time where they won't born you you go get dyslexia because that part of brain where they're responsible for reading writing spelling and comprehension you go they affected due to the fact say you don't take too long for when they born you when you go they call prolonged labor so that prolonged labor it cause stress for the pekin it cause say uh oxygen or which you know enter brain that time so that small time when they you know enter the brain if it cause the brain injury or even when the picking don't burn self some of us like to beat our picking for head hmm. we take broom you take br a ruler hit them for help even for school and there then the beat person pass yeah that place where they hit them for head now if it be said that the place where they where they're responsible for making read any person will get dyslexia will struggle to read though he will struggle to write he will struggle to spell he will struggle to comprehend that's why we they call them olodo teacher go beat them mama go beat them papa go beat them go kick up say all this money i spent now you don't reach the town where they don't carry all of us there for us at the same time before before now papa mama go carry the picking give for school saying our school go take care of them yeah now all of us their house the frustration and the difficulty will come now be say papa don't tire mama don't tire say how go do this one now how go fit take take care of them why would they house now the first thing why the tell parents be say make you learn patience make you learn to be patient with this picking find out what things i be do some of them they tell me say ah everything was point for house they know how to repair but when you give them a book to read, you know, go read. And if they repair something, I find where they will put and make it begin learn how to repair something. Not be everybody go go Oxford, Cambridge, University, Lagos. Some people, you know, when God create what one, one, I create different profession too. Yes. Just find out what be the profession where this person good for. Help them to enter. Some of those professions no require make it go university, go get degree now. You go learn them as handwork. But everybody man, they want to begin to go read university course do this do that so it becomes difficult so just identify within your picking feet do well well help them if not musical help them they can do the music well if not acting or singing help them make it they go there okay if you don't know how to help them bring them come our center we'll help you to identify them well, I'll come back to address, you know, bringing to your center, seeing as we are currently experiencing a lockdown. So what can be done, you know, in that case? But before then, let's look at some of the symptoms you've mentioned about dyslexia. Yes, we know dyslexia is basically a reading, writing, spelling, and comprehension um, issue. But some of the symptoms you've mentioned are similar to autism. So are they interrelated or is it a form of autism? Okay. Thank you so much. Autism is also a brain condition both of them are related to the brain they are caused by the configuration the, the, the functioning of the brain now the difference between dyslexia and autism we say for autism the person will you know they like to associate with people they like to work on their own you know they like to follow children play you know they like to stay where other people they stay you know they like to even look person for eye when you look and make it look your eyeball to eyeball, you go remove face. That now one. Secondly, then they like then they struggle with communication, language and communication. As different from say they know they their own be say then they like they know they talk at all most of the time. And most of the time, even if you try to help them to get uh, improve their speech, it takes much longer. So speech is another thing where then they struggle with. And then, of course, the third one is the brain. Their cognitive skill, as we they call them, is as poor as anybody else. Anybody where they struggle with autism. So some people, they forget autism, can't get dyslexia as well. 
But some people, if you get dyslexia, they don't know if you get autism. So they are different in a way. Okay. Now, you had mentioned also that when parents can't handle their children, they should bring them to your center. And I know that we're currently experiencing a lockdown, and we are experiencing a time we have never seen ever in our life, in our, for most of us in our lifetime. How do parents who have dyslexic children but are worried about physical contact, how can they beat that? Good. The first thing you go say, you yourself, you begin to understand what thing they happen with the child. For instance, how much, now that you are locked with the child, every morning, sit down with the child or as much as possible to draw up a schedule. Make you might begin to develop timetable. Where we say, first, as I mentioned, their comprehension is very poor. So even if you tell them something now, forget say they don't hear them more, but they go forget them again. So you make sure, say, you remind them and remind them and remind them. That's why I said, first and foremost, you parent too, you for learn how to be patient and tolerant. Because if you don't have patience and you don't have tolerance, you would always end up stressing yourself or beating up the child every day. And that's very stressful for you and for the rest of the children. So develop schedule, timetable. What you go do between 8 and 9, 9 to 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12. Manage it that way so that the, person, the child is able to now say, okay, this is what I'm supposed to do. You are guiding the child through it. That's one. And in that table, you should also include learning, learning opportunity. What you now want to learn today? So break down the lesson, keep the lesson very short. As you say, the Lagos State government, they teach people for television, for radio, for other things. Sit down with them. May they ask you a question? Because they know if it asks a television question. Anyone they don't understand, may they ask you. And then, the one way they know fit to understand, you go try to explain. And if you too don't understand, tell them, say, hold her. Tell them, say, you don't understand them, but you go find out. You go call a friend. You go talk to somebody where you understand. And then, after you do that one finish, make sure, say, the rest of the children, no disturb them while then they try to learn because they get easily distracted. As they sit down with you, they watch for television or they listen to radio to, to, to study. If the children, they come, mommy, mommy, daddy, daddy, daddy. They will be so distracted that they cannot even follow what they are saying. So get the other children busy while you give them more attention. Most of the people with dyslexia, they learn best when they're one-on-one. -on -one. They know they feel learn properly when they be there for large class. So when you give them one-on-one -on -one instruction, on one support, they tend to do better. So make you try as much as possible to give them that one-on-one -on -one support that they need this time. Mm -hmm. Then in terms of say we lock we lock down, at least our center is still able to do training and assessment. Also with the lockdown, we can use technology just as we are doing now to train, to do assessment, find out whether the child really get the problem or not. Because many people, when they hear this kind of thing, they just hear one or two things. Say, oh, my, my picking that thing where you talk, now they do. No, mm. <laughs> there are over 70, 70 signs of it. Okay. So, and as far well as we're trying to differentiate it from autism, there are other things, the liberal palsy, autism, and the rest of them. So you have to try as much as possible to do a professional assessment. So it, it, there's no specific where, test for it, is there? There's no specific test that can be done that, you know, someone would walk into a hospital and say, oh, please, I want to do a test for my child to check if they're dyslexic. For dyslexia. Is there a test No, no, for there's that? no test in the hospital. There is no test in the hospital for dyslexia. Okay. So we are trying as much as possible to even work with the Lagos State University, uh, what do you call it, teaching hospital, okay. with the neurology department to understand that this service provider, because the problem we see before now is that when parents have gone there, they do an MRI, which is a scan of the brain, the structure of the brain. Mm -hmm. And when the structure of the brain, they're okay. They just tell the parents, I better go, nothing they'll do your child. Why do they worry yourself? But the person will say, look, I know my child. There's something wrong. This is not about the structure of the brain. It's about the function of the brain. It's like the microphone we are using now. Yeah. The structure is the microphone. But the f what it is doing is the function. Can you see the function? No, you can't. No, you can't. No. But you see this. No, you see the structure. structure yeah. So that is how it is with the brain. So when they go to a hospital, they do scans, they can only see the structure and they say the structure is fine. 
So they assume that and there's nothing wrong with well. it. Mm. Yes, but when you do a functional a functional test, which we do assessment, we test for attention, comprehension, mm -hmm. processing speed, logic mm -hmm. and reasoning. All those things they have a test for them. We do that, and we can do it from from you can do it from the comfort of your home now oh, because right, of right. the lockdown. Makes, Makes sense. sense. Yes. We can do it from wherever you are. Yesterday we did three. Today we are going to do two. So we can do assessments from home and you don't need to leave your We can also do the training now that you are locked down because nobody knows how long this lockdown will be. Yes. So we have developed also systems for training the children right in their home as long as you have the technology to support it. Okay. Uh, so, uh, sir, you don't speak on so many things and you don't actually touch uh, almost all the, the, the angles of this conversation because uh, we also want to uh, make sure, say, parents out there, they get to understand their children. As you take talk, um, you guys they patient, you guys will take time to really check all these things and if they don't still feel understand what they go on, they feel reach out to on, uh, to do you know, proper assessment of, of, of the situation. And the good thing is, say you talk about beginning, say this thing not be disease, not be problem, not just a um, situation where the brain not just fit and not function as expected, as the social expectation take be. So as for um, before you leave us now, for parents where they are there, wait for their mind, they feel say ah, some of them don't <laughs> they can say as a spiritual problem. Some of them, some of them don't lose hope. So waiting me that thing where you go tell them say okay, oh, in this kind of situation, oh, Make una and uh, do or which kind of thing will they fit? Give the words of encouragement regarding this kind of situation if they find themselves in this situation. Yeah, thank you very much. This condition is not permanent, too. Mm. This condition where they call dyslexia is not permanent. You okay. can change it at any age. Okay. From age five to up, anybody will get dyslexia. You can change it. There is. It is not a death sentence. It's not a condition you can. You cannot change. You can, can do pass. something about it. So parents and the people will get them, even adults now get them too. If you get them and you still say this thing they affect you too, no say help day here. Mm. Before now, before 2015, help not only abroad overseas day. But now, since the foundation starting work for 2015, the help day here for our for Adomot, they here for Lagos, they have they for Abuja, they for many parts of Nigeria. And now with lockdown, you can even we can even reach you wherever you are. Whether a Kauda and a Moda will go reach you. Because with lockdown now, with technology, we can reach everywhere. So there is hope. Don't give up. Hmm. Second, second message. You be a, a, now you go be a child champion. But if you start to condemn the child, they call a name. They abuse them every time. Look at you. Look at how much I spent on your school fees. And you know mm -hmm. they sit past. Look mm -hmm. at your brother. Look at your sister. No, 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 no. That one, they make the child to even become worse. Say, ah, I'm not good for anything. Encourage them. Even if you do, even if you pass one subject out of ten, give a high five. They say you do well. Oh, today you pass only one. Tomorrow you go pass two. The next tomorrow you go pass three. All right. Encourage the person. Be their champion. Be the one that is. You will look back and say, ah, if not for my parents, if not for my father, if not for my mother, if not for my uncle, if not for my auntie, there is hope. Don't lose hope. There is help available here, and we have done it before. We have done it. We are still doing it and we'll continue to do it. That's why we are here to support. But don't assume that you know and always ask the right questions in the right places. Go for internet, check for Dyslexia Foundation. Go find out why you go reach us. Make you Kukuma come talk to us. We can talk to you and we can always agree on how to, to solve the problem, whether for yourself or for some other person. There All is right. hope. Please don't give up hope. Indeed, That's there my is last, hope. Uh, my encouragement. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so very much, much for sir. joining Thank us. Thank you very much for that conversation. Yeah, and, that's, uh, that's very important for us to important. mention that there is hope because yes. there are people, there are famous people who are dyslexic from presidents, you know, the United, well, one time United States President Woodrow Wilson, Orlando Bloom, the mm -hmm. actor, uh, many people, Richard Branson, even in Nigeria, you know, I think if I'm, if I'm correct, Akio Sakido at one time mentioned about being dyslexic. So there are many people who have been dyslexic and have lived the best quality of life. So it's not the end of the world. You can still be a Tom Cruise who, who is dyslexic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, ah, mm -hmm. well, that, um, th thank you very much, sir, for this conversation. And uh, for people where they watch us, and I know, say, as an uh, organic talker, it is not a, a death sentence. It is something where they feel work on. So no lose hope. Always encourage your picking. And if now you, sir, they do have, 
you still know say they no lose hope. Just reach out to the intercessory foundations where go handle them and everything will be solved. All right, thank you very much, sir, for this uh, time you spend with us. And uh, we hope you say we go fit talk about this matter again sometime in the future for people we still see no one here at that time, they go fit see here again. We very much uh, enjoy your time with us. Thank you very much. Thank sir. you very much, sir. To enjoy more of this, our Ugon get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.